growing up and knowing that Vernon Jarrett, as a leading syndicated black columnist, wrote stories that spoke to our community, amplified the pain that we were dealing with, and he came up with solutions. What can people do to solve some of the ills that we are facing as a society and as a community? And so I knew that growing up. I knew it when I was in high school. I knew it was in college. I, mean, I never thought I would one day be a journalist to be able to win this award. Because even now, as, as a radio host, I'm still a little reticent about calling myself a journalist. I'm like, I'm not, because in my mind, a journalist is someone who puts the, pe the pencil or the pen to the paper and has a column. But I do it on the radio. And, and Bernie Jarrett did it not just in print, but he also did it in television. So the idea that I'm following in his footsteps uh, as much as I can, and very humbly I'm trying to do the hard work, knowing that hopefully one day I can live up to this award. Like one day I can look and say, okay, this actually speaks to what I'm doing because it's just so humbling and so overwhelming that I don't, I feel like I'm not there yet in the lifespan of, of what Vernon Jerry contributed to our society. I never think about the next thing. I always think about what I'm doing in this moment. So am I stepping into my purpose? Am I doing it with passion? Am I laying out a plan to get me from this morning to this evening? Like I try to take it one step at a time. Because I believe that as you're moving on your path, if you are walking in your purpose, doors begin to open for you that, that no person can close. And doors that are closed for you will never be open. I believe that. It's always for me thinking, am I doing more today than I did yesterday? That's how I approach it, knowing that we only have a short amount of time to live in our moment, and so I try to do that. I mean, I will have a lot of days to rest when my husband and I retire, when we are on the other side of this journey. But as long as I'm able, as long as I have the energy, as long as there's a voice that I can use, then I will continue to do that. We don't just bring generational trauma from our ancestors, we also bring all the generational gifts. The tenacity, the resilience, the joy, the laughter, the family, the love, that's what I take forward. So adversity to me just means find another way to get around it, find another way to get over it, get under it. The deal is you can't stop moving forward because the world is not going to stop, so neither should you. In life you're going to fall, like it's, it's invariably you're going to fall. My dad said, but, but when you start falling, make sure you fall on your back. Because if you can look up, then you can get up.